Hi, Scorpio. It's me, it's Julia with Scorpio Squad. Who else, right? Happy New Year, you guys. Let's pay attention to those numbers. 2022. Angel numbers, right? Right. So, put a smile on your face. It's going to be a year of uh, spirituality, a year of love, a year of truth. But it all depends where, all, where we all come from, right? And how we are as individuals on this universe. Um, but I feel there's going to be something much bigger than us um, that's going to step in. <laughs> so I want you to be happy. I want you to have faith. I want you to go after your dreams. And I wish you only the best for the new year. You know that, Scorpio. Now, for those of you that are new, this is a Strictly Scorpio channel. If you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. It helps the growth of the channel. Hit your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified every time I upload videos. I do two videos a day, seven days a week, for the sign of, it, of Scorpio. And if I'm not exhausted, then I land up doing a weekly for you guys, too. I know I, I, I didn't do last week's. Okay, I'm going to try. All right. But at least you got your two videos a day, your <laughs> Scorpio. Um, if you want a live tarot card reading from my hand-picked tarot card readers, just say Julia and you get your first reading discounted. If you want a personal love reading from me, you can only book it through my website and pay for it there. You may want to know what's coming up for the new year for you. Um, all those readings are discounted. I'm going to keep them discounted because we're in the holidays. Okay, so take advantage of them. Uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. Um, Patreon if you want early access to Scorpio readings, meaning bonus readings, love readings, right? Weekly pick a card, VIP chat. That link is down below. My Amazon wish list and uh, for donations and all that stuff. And for the new clothing I just put on uh, to our Teespring store. Um, we've got pint glasses now and stainless steel water bottles and kids clothing and all kinds of different things. So you may want to just go have fun and check it out. Everything that you need is listed down below. Just click on show more. All right, Scorpio. Today is January the 1st, 2022. 21 is done. <laughs> I know you guys are like, I'm so glad that year's done. I know. But you learned a lot, didn't you? And you shed it a lot. And you cut cords and you did a lot of really good things for yourself and especially um, taking better care of yourself finding that self-love right Scorpio so it wasn't such a bad year I know it's been difficult for all of us but some good things came out of it too for Scorpio for Scorpio For Scorpio, clarity and guidance, my dear angels, for the sign of Scorpio. We're using the Moonology Manifestation deck. It's a brand new deck. Well, not brand new, but new to the channel. We've been using it a couple of times, but it's one of the fairly new decks. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we've got here for you, okay? All right, so first one up, go deeper. You may want to get more knowledge. You may need to just really be alone and just get in touch with your emotions, your feelings, your spirituality, what it is you truly want. That's okay. They want you to dig deeper. They want you to get that knowledge, right? Um, for a lot of you, it's going deeper and really finding out the information that you need in order to start that new project of yours, okay? So they're telling you, yeah, Scorpio, go deep. Go deep. If there's something that's still bothering you, you're still hurt by, really go deep and find out what that is and, and heal it now once and for all. You know, Scorpio, sometimes it's not your energy, right? Sometimes your energy is really good, but the people that are around you, right, are causing the chaos around you. So you need to be aware of who those people are. And, you know, if they're causing you chaos and conflict when you're peaceful and you're connected and everything is fine, then they, they need to be cut out. You know, those toxic situations we're talking about now. Make time for self-love, you see? Yes, because you need to. You're giving too much of yourself out there, okay? 
I'm sorry if you can hear my son in the background. It's because it's New Year's Day and he's playing with his friends. Okay. Release control. Yeah, you don't have to have control over everything, Scorpio. Trust in the divine, right? Relinquish that control and let things come as they're supposed to. Just go with the flow right now, okay? You don't have to control everything. But just, you know, take those appropriate steps forward. I'm not saying for you to just sit there and not do anything. Do what you need to do. You know, make sure. Check off those boxes, right? But the rest, leave into the divine's hands. Work through your feelings. Some of you are afraid of relationships. Some of you are still hurt. Some of you are doubting yourself. Stop. You know, work through whatever that is for you. <clears throat> it's important right now. You need to let that go. Because, Scorpio, you're beautiful. You're a beautiful person inside and out. Okay? you got it going on. Okay? So don't allow this kind of energy to affect you. Unleash your kindest self. Oh, you always do. But sometimes you get bitter. Sometimes you get cold. The Spirit's saying don't. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that way. Okay? Be the real you, Scorpio. Which is absolutely lovely and beautiful and loving and caring. Yeah? Don't let anybody make you feel that way. Okay? Or change how you actually are or behave or feel, right? Let your fears dissolve. If you're in a fearful state about what's going on, so let those fears dissolve. And I'm telling you again, if you connect with the, with spirit, with God, with Christ, with Allah, you know what I mean? When you get yourself balanced, you're going to understand where that fear is coming from, and it's not from up there, Scorpio. So, it's time to release those fears. Take a reality check. That may mean you need to look at everything that's going on around you and decipher what's real, what's not, right? What's the truth? What's a lie? So, be real. That's what's the most important thing, right? To be real. For some of you, I feel you just want to go into nature, be up in the mountains, look at the moon, look at the sunrise, right? Go somewhere where it's calm and peaceful. I hear you. Reveal what needs to be seen. So maybe you're getting some kind of downloads or that you need to share with others. Okay. to prepare them to give them more knowledge what do you foresee because I know a lot of you get downloads I know a lot of you are extremely intuitive that's why I call you my my um, <laughs> my <laughs> intuitive gangster <laughs> or intuitive mafia or psychic mafia or whatever because you are you're very in tune to everything right so you're going to be getting a lot more downloads too all right let's go to the sacred forest for scorpio sacred forest for scorpio angel spirit white light please come into this reading for scorpio clarity and guidance for the sign of scorpio okay those came up face up for scorpio for january 1st 2022 scorpio i love you gang gang Okay, for Scorpio, clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. Here we go, Scorpio. Wouldn't be a Scorpio reading if those cards didn't come popping out. Right, Scorpio? Okay, those are all face down. I'm not going to take them. They're telling me just to take the ones that are face up. Okay, so let's get them in order here, and let's see what's going on for my beautiful Scorpios. Refuge. Ha <laughs> ha! I told you, you just like, you know, you just want to go out there. You know, you just want to be out in nature, in the forest, I don't know, just take refuge somewhere where it's quiet and peaceful. Scorpio. And maybe you should. Maybe you should. 
you got a new beginning. And maybe that's part of your new beginning. Maybe you're relocating. Maybe you're going somewhere else where it's more peaceful. Right? Because a lot of you have a change coming. And I feel it's a beautiful change. It's like you're going to go through some kind of metamorphosis here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. With this change, I feel you're going to feel more like yourself. Playful. Excuse me. Enjoying your life. Right? You're going to feel alive again. Maybe this, maybe you're going to somebody and just being connected with this person, whether it's a friend, a lover, you know, whatever it's going to end up being, or if it's just a friendship, it's, it's a very playful energy. It's going to make you feel alive again. You won't feel like you're doing everything alone. Yeah, it's just going to give you like this boost of energy. You're very much in your power right now, Scorpio. Okay? If you just eliminate all the distractions around you. Or maybe those people that are, you know, talking. Right? Everybody's got an opinion, right, Scorpio? You don't have to listen to that. You know, you know what you want to do. You know what you want out of your life. You don't have to answer to anyone. I think you've given more than enough of yourself. Sanctuary. You see? I'm telling you, you just, this is, you just want peace. You want to have your own little piece of sanctuary somewhere, right? Someplace. You're tired. I know. Transcending. Yes. This is all happening because you are transcending. You just want peace and balance, right? You want to be around like-minded people. You don't, you know, you don't want all this chaos and all this nonsense going on around you. All right, let's go to the Queen of the Moon Oracle. I don't know why they told me to take this deck today. So let's see. Poor Scorpio, please. Divine Masculine just showed up. And what about them? Okay, so I have a divine masculine Scorpio. Now, it could be a female as well. It depends what kind of energy you're in right now, right? Um, there's something that you're very much attracted to, and you already have the wisdom about it, but for some reason, you're scared to take that leap of faith. When you know that it's going to bring nothing but good to you and abundance and stability, and you're going to be able to plant firm, firm roots somewhere. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. Will. They want you to be strong. Possibly with this Queen of Pentacles, or possibly about your abundance here. Something unexpected is going to happen here, which is going to create change in your life, Scorpio. Just don't worry, you're protected. There's something that you really, really want, and it's saying just be a little patient about it. Okay? Everything happens in divine timing. There's a time where you're just going to have to stick up for yourself when it comes to people opposing what you want. Okay? And there's going to be a time that you're going to need to take action. may be towards this high priestess or empress here okay but you have a brand new beginning this new beginning is going to bring you a lot of growth a lot of nurse nourishment and i think you have like a soulmate here self-love is very important maybe this acceptance um is uh, 
with the divine. I feel here, Scorpio, there may be somebody who lives in a different country or something like that that you may be um, doing some kind of dealings with, some kind of an agreement with. Um, I feel this person is going to help you uh, create what you want to create and get you out of this blah kind of energy that you're in. Stand in your power and trust. In the divine Scorpio and enjoy your life being your spirituality live in integrity and focus focus there may be something that's still bothering you that you, you can't let go of you can't release so Spirit's saying for you to take a deeper look into yourself as to why you have all this conflict or chaos around you. I don't feel it's you. I feel it's the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Okay? A lot of you, whatever you were dreaming of or wishing for is about to happen here. If you, you know, you've cut the cords and you, you know what I mean. You're about to blossom here. That's what I'm saying. You gotta drop the burden. And the burden is the people that are around you that are not good for you. There's a lot of good people around you, but there's some people that are just very they don't have your best interest at heart, Scorpio. You may be trying to take on too much, Scorpio. I'm saying to let it go. Surrender. Surrender. Set up healthy boundaries for yourself, but there is a path that's being lit up for you that's going to bring you a lot of balance if you only have the courage to go down that path. You see, and then paths showed up. you got to have the courage to climb up that ladder for that new beginning. There's somebody who cares about you very much, a friend that cares about you very much. I feel they're very grateful for you being in their life, and you're very grateful for them being in your life. Have faith. You know, and release whatever's not working for you anymore. Okay? So that way you can find your own peace. Because I feel, again, you've got people around you that are causing you to havoc. And you don't understand why everything keeps going wrong. Why does this problem show up? Why does that problem show up? It's because it's the, it's the energies that are around you. Okay? I feel like you're having a lot of sleepless nights. You're concerned about the future. <clears throat> And Spirit is saying to you, be centered. Have self-love for yourself. Take good care of your health. Take good care of, you know, the inside and the outside, right? You're about, you're going to have a huge uh, realization about something really, really soon. If you can do what we're talking about here. Okay? All right, let's see what animal spirit advice is for today. For Scorpio, please. Clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. We've got two face up. And let's see if we have any more. For Scorpio. For Scorpio, clarity and guidance for the sign of Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know, dear angels? What do you want them to know? Anything else? Saying no, Julia. Okay. Thank you, angels. All right, so here we go. Take a leap of faith. You see? Again. Hmm. Take a leap of faith. You're never going to find out unless you step into your power and go into the unknown. Of course, you have to have a plan. You may not be doing it because you're afraid of your financial situation. Oh, wow. Did you? Right, did you see that orb? That was crazy. That went like this and like this and then came down this way. Scorpio, listen to what I'm saying to you. You may be afraid that you don't have enough and Spirit is saying to you, 
that the universe will provide. So don't hold back because you're scared that you're not going to have enough to do what you want to do. Okay? They're letting you know. And that orb just confirmed what I just said to you. So don't worry about it. Trust in the magic. Trust in the magic. Trust in the divine. Trust in God, the Lord. What you believe in. Because, you know, things just happen. Miracles happen, Scorpio. You know, a lot of us, you know, think, oh, yeah, that'll never... Miracles do happen when your heart's in the right place. Spider spirit, make your dreams real, Scorpio. Okay? You've got that idea. You've got that project. You know what you want to do. Tell spirit, listen, I need help with this. Give me guidance. How am I going to make this happen, spirit? I'm willing to do it, but I need help. They'll help through knowledge, through showing you, through uh, abundance, opportunity showing up around you in order for you to make it happen. All right, Scorpio? So that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I wish you a happy new year, and I will see you again tomorrow. Please be safe for me out there. I love you, gang, gang. You know that, right? And thank you for all your love and support for me and the channel. Bye now.